And today, this, uh, this moment right now, I want us to tackle on how to break the poverty mindset. And the first thing and for, foremost is for you to recognize that you need to have a wake-up experience. That's number one, a wake-up experience. It's for you to look at your situation and say, I do not have to accept living this life of lack. I don't have to have this new, uh, I don't have to live on my generation and my family of lack. I can start a new generation because Jesus Christ lives inside of you, that he is going to give you wisdom and direction. You have to have a wake-up experience, a moment to recognize that there is a way of living without just having leftovers or nothing at all. That God wants to give you a prosperous life. And I want to talk about this young lady. Well, she's not young anymore, but her name is Danny Johnson. And she's an amazing, amazing woman of God. See, she started out really bad. She came from a drug addict family. Both parents were drug addicts. Abusive, sexually, physically, mentally, verbally. If you, she had it really bad set up for her. Starting at three years old, she was abused. From 16 years old. She lived a lifestyle where she came out of a welfare family. At 17, she was pregnant. And at 21, she was homeless. She, she married a con artist that she only knew for seven days that took everything from her. She had nothing in her bank account. She lived in her car. And then within two years, at the age of 23, she became a millionaire. And you're thinking, hold on, what just happened? She had this years of bad situations come and then all of a sudden at 23 she became a millionaire well what happened is she encountered Jesus Christ a wake-up experience where he said that rise up and walk and he began to give her ideas of business and she actually started a business right in her car and literally she became a multi-millionaire she now is is known all over she's been on Oprah she's been on ABC Good News America everywhere and she's becoming such a prosperous, she's a multimillionaire, and she tells these people is that I did not allow that my poverty beginning for it to take my mind. I didn't allow it, and he said, she, what she said is that when God encountered me, I began to say, renew my mind. You need to renew your mind. In order to break a mindset, you need a new one, right? Okay, so what she began to do was look into the word of God. She began to do research. She began to read books, podcasts. If you want to be a millionaire, you need to listen from a millionaire. You don't want to take advice from someone that's broke. You don't want to take advice from someone that goes from credit card to credit card, right? You need to search out and look for that knowledge. And the third point is, is that you need to be a person that values knowledge. This is what Pastor Vlad talked about on how to break barriers in our mind. And he said something really specific is that you have to be people that value knowledge. Today we live in a society that has knowledge everywhere at our fingertips. You go on Google, you can find everything. How many of you guys have ever Googled anything at your job where you're like, I have no idea what to do, I'm going to Google it, right? Any Google people? Yeah, all, everybody. So this is the point is that to value knowledge is to search it out, is to look at podcasts, is to feed your mind overly, over and over and over. If it's books upon books, if it's uh, places that you can go, mentors, whatever it is, you need to surround yourself with knowledge so that your mind is built to a new level of a mindset that you're saying, you know what, if that person can do it, I can do it. What did they do different that I am not doing? and figure it out and that way God can use that knowledge because knowledge is power, right? The next thing is, is that the way you speak. Do not speak poverty. Because how you were raised up, some of you say, oh, I don't have enough to get that. Oh, I'm broke, I'm poor. I hear a lot of times my friends even say that and we just have built this concept in our mouth that oh, I'm poor or I don't have enough. Don't say that for there is life in your tongue and life and death come out of it. And whatever comes out of it, those will eat a fruit of it. And as a scripture in Proverbs, um, I think it's 18. If you can go to the next slide. Yes, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. When you speak, there is power. When you speak, if you want something to change, change the way you talk. Change the, even if you feel like nothing is working out and saying this will fail, don't say it. Say it will prosper. God is with me. Nothing is missing in my life because I have God who is for me. Who can be against me? You're beginning to speak that word because your mind is being renewed by the word. Then you begin to speak it and then it will become your life. 
Amen? The last point is, is this, is that give your way to the top. You have to give your way to the top. This is what I mean. See, the world has it backwards. We say, hold on as much as you can to get to the top. But Jesus Christ has the opposite. He says, give as much as you can so you rise up to the top. See, the billionaires, you know what they are? The biggest problem solvers. You're thinking, how are they billionaires? What's so different about them? They're the biggest, biggest problem solvers. They solve people's problems. When you are the person that solves people's problems, money will come at you because your focus is people. Your focus is others. Your focus is giving. Billionaires are givers. They give something. If it's material things, it's whatever their product is, or if they're giving, they're giving. One of the things that Danny Johnson said, do you want to know the key to prosperity? Is focus first on people's prosperity. When you do that, when you're ultimately always giving, when you're ultimately always focusing on others, money will come right after. It is, it is given. And it's not something that I advised. It's what she advised and what she said. She gives 90% of her profits to charities. 90%. She's doing really good. So, and she lives off of millions. She's doing really, really good. She only works 20 hours a week. And that's because she chooses. So, anyways, that is, now hold on. This is what she said. She said, this was not me. This was God. I took the word of God and I applied his principles. And he used a wreck like myself. I applied the principles and here you go. So I want to tell you this evening, if you apply these things, if you seek with all of your heart the things of God, his ways, which is his word, speaking the things of God, which is his word, saying that you shall be prosperous, that whatever you touch shall be blessed. If you guard your mouth, I tell you that you will create a new lifestyle with God. Amen. God wants to bless us. God wants to show and direct you. If it's a business idea that you have, he wants to give you knowledge on how to do it. He is the man upstairs and he knows all things. Amen. So how many of you want to partner up with God today? Come on, you guys.